going on? I'm Jason Dent, I'm the owner of the Griffin Roll MMA Academy. I'm one of the head instructors, also one of the professional fighters. I'm with you guys a tour, you know, firsthand of what goes on in here and where everything is. Come on in. Oh, don't forget to check your ego at the door as well. Come on in, I'll take you into the academy. This is the front room where everybody ditches their shoes and jackets before they come on into the gym. Come in, all the members like to check in right here, get checked in if they need to pick up hand wraps, mouthpieces, boxing gloves, any training equipment or gear. This is where everybody kind of comes in, they check in, and then they come on into the gym. This is our main training area of the gym. It's where everybody trains advanced, but it doesn't matter if they're new or advanced, they all train on this side. We got storage boxes for class, you can put your equipment and gear in here. If you come on up a couple steps, Bleacher seating for family and friends. Nothing who wants to hang out and watch the classes, they can do it here. Then you'll see we've got a huge section of mats. This is where all our classes start. Everybody starts together, 20, 30, 40 people at once. To my left right here is our wall of champions. We kind of put these up not to brag and be arrogant, but uh, we put these up here just symbol of hard work, you know, to reward our guys who won the titles. It's a combination of professional and amateur belts that we have up here. Over here we have some different training equipment and gear. Some boxing gloves, focus mitts, tie pads. I'm always ordering new stuff. Our fighters hit hard, they train hard, they train a lot. So they're always wearing everything out, making me spend money. Some bags down the wall, some Muay Thai bags. My name is Joe Calari, here to represent Griffin Roll MMA Academy, a 170 pound amateur fighter. Here to represent. Here with one of the fighters I manage. George is a two-time national NAFS amateur champion, two different weight classes. We're gonna hit some pads for you guys and show you some of his moves. So, ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We got the uh, jiu-jitsu wall of rank over here. If you notice on the top is Jeff Starr. He's our black belt instructor under Helson Gracie. Hi, I'm Jeff Starr. I'm the head jiu-jitsu instructor at Griffin Roll. I've been studying jiu-jitsu since 1993. I'm a black belt under Helsing Gracie, and I'm here to make you better on the mat. Over here on the wall, this is from where I was on season nine of The Ultimate Fighter. There's me about 15, 20 pounds lighter in shape. This is from season nine of The Ultimate Fighter. If you look up top right here, I got to train with Dan Henderson. Everybody remembers the big knockout where Henderson knocked out Michael Bisping. Uh, really fun experience, good for the gym, you know, to be a part of that. We're back up front, this is the store, Pro Sales Shop, one of our main sponsors. They sponsor our gym's events, they sponsor our fighters, our professional amateur, intimidation clothing. And I'm gonna take you guys to the fun side of the gym. Follow me. If you look on top before you enter, before you enter the side of the gym with the, with the ring, with the cage, where the harder sparring and the harder training goes on. The very top of the wall says, it's a quote actually from the Bible. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And what that means to me is, you know, we try to keep the best fighters around. So when the other fighters come in, we like to bring them up, you know. You know, iron sharpens iron, so follow me. This is the fighter side, the advanced side. There's our boxing ring. That's where all the boxing takes place, all the kickboxing sparring takes place. I'm crew Aaron Juice Viverka. I uh, am co-instructor of Muay Thai over here at the Griffin Roll MMA Academy. We try to keep it fast, real, energetic. Ow! Over here to the right on the far corner, that's our cage. I'm Sam Clark. I'm a Griffin Roll MMA uh, amateur fighter at 155 pounds, and uh, I'm gonna do some ground and pound come to a fight gym, you gotta have some cauliflower here, and you don't got it, you're gonna get it, and you gotta have a nose that looks like, <laughs> that looks like that, <laughs> that's a fighter's nose right there. Some scars like Joe's got on his eye, that's how you know you're in a fight gym. The mat in the middle down here, we have another saying, no sacrifice, no glory. Be willing to shed some blood, sweat, and tears, just letting the guys know they have to sacrifice, and you know, if they want to be a professional fighter, if they want to be a good fighter, an amateur fighter, you know, it's either sacrificing that time away from their family, getting here and train, sacrificing their food. No sacrifice, no glory. You gotta put the effort. You gotta put the effort in. Hi, I'm Paul Reberger. I'm the assistant Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor here at Griffin Roll MMA Academy. 
I am a uh, four stripe purple belt under Helsing Gracie. I've been training with Jeff Starr for about eight years and I'm here to help any fighter that's looking to improve their ground game. It's more different just training equipment for your abs. We got some speed bags down the wall, some more custom bags for striking. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm George Bosoff Homer, part of one of the assistant instructors here at Griffin Rawl Academy. I'm here with my instructor, Donnie the Eagle Eye Walker, two-time UFC vet. Donnie, uh, what would you have to say is you know your favorite fight moment or maybe just part of being a team here at Griffin Rawl? Uh for being a part of the team at Griffin Rawl, just great guys. You know, I have uh, great partners like you and uh, Jason Dynamite Zen to practice with. It's always fun to beat up on your friends while you work out. Touché. That's about it. We're close to 8,000 square feet and uh, you know we get busy in here. We sweat hard, we sweat more to bleed less, like we like to say. And then um, basically just my office. I'm not letting you guys in there this time, so maybe next time. That's it.